Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. Okay, in this one, we're just going to be going over all the changes that we've done so far. So, up to this point, we've been working on the suspension, redesigning these parts, um, doing lots of testing, testing out different size springs, different amounts of pressure, all that kind of stuff. So, I've just got to change this part here, but while I'm doing that, you can sit back and watch the montage of how we got to this point. Okay, so now you're all caught up with what we've been doing so far and how we got to here. You can see that these gear parts, they used to turn on this part here. So the problem we've had with that was um, teeth breaking. I'm not sure if you can see or not. Yeah, some of the teeth snapped off. I mean, I could probably pin, print um, high percent infill maybe make the gears a bit bigger but we don't really need to do that um, I think the best way is just going to get rid of the gears altogether and then that's one less thing to break so what I've done, I've redesigned this thing here with a much more stronger infill, it's only got two holes they're a little bit further apart to allow for movement and stuff this is the original reason why I didn't do it in the first place um, because these two parts here are so close together um, once you've got the lever, which connects to the suspension part, it sticks out a bit, and then it touches the other side. There's not really enough space, but I've managed to figure out a way to do it, so that's all sorted. And we're just waiting for the part to print, and then we'll be able to stick it all together.
Okay, so the parts are done. And here they are. Right, so this is the old bit and this is the new one. So this half is mostly exactly the same. Um, we've got space for a nut to go in and an M, was it? M, M8 bolt that goes in through this hole. And that secures it onto the eye loop thing. Um, tie rod end. Swivel connector. Okay, anyway. Um, right, so the new part, it's got the three bolts here, which are the same as the three holes on the bottom of these links. So we're just going to be taking these parts off, sticking them straight onto here. Okay, and that's all we have time for in this video. So you can see that the suspension is coming nicely. We're getting there. It's just going to need like a little bit more fine tuning. Um, these dampers here, these are 50 newtons. I've got some. I've got some 80 newton ones as well, which in the previous configuration these ones were a little bit too strong. But I think now that we've got these shortened arms and the no gears. Um, I think we could put these smaller ones back on. They're a lot harder to press down and um, the spring fits in there better as well. And it takes up less space. So the better all around. Um, what else? Yeah, so that's it. Um, if you want to see more of this and obviously you can see it is, it is getting somewhere. You know, it's been a month since the last video and you know, I, I've been quite busy with this. Um, there was a lot to do, but yeah, it is starting to take shape again now. Um, I don't think it's going to be too long before the suspension is finished. And I've got this part ready. That goes on top, like so. All the electronics are going to go on top of that piece. Uh, Arduino is probably going to get rid of one of these DIN rails. And what else we got? We got some more boxes for stuff.
got more boxes and more stuff. More Arduinos. Okay, this, this one isn't included. Right, so yeah, we got the one with the USB. We got the other one for the steering. And we got the main one. So the steering one is going to go in here, something like that. And then we're going to have another board there. But all, all the electronics, there's, there's quite a lot for that. So that's probably going to be a separate video. So we'll, we'll just forget about the electronics for a bit. And yeah, so this is where we're at. Right, so anyway, if, if you want to see more of these, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And also I'm trying to think of a name for this so I don't have to keep calling it the, the RC hover car or whatever. So if you've got any good ideas for a name, um, so remember it's electric, it's a little all-terrain vehicle. Uh, what else? It's got a long range. Um, yeah, anyway, yeah, if you, if you think of any good names or anything, just post them in the comments. And that's it, and I'll see you on the next one.